Ryan Arrington, a good three points for the new Saints in the end. Yeah, it was. It was a good three points. It was the points that we needed, really. You know, um, I do think it was important that we get off to a good start, especially after having such a good game against Newtown as well. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't the start we wanted, but you know, the reaction from the boys was brilliant, and that's what we look for when, uh, when we're playing at home, especially. And there was just six minutes on the clock when Pennebont took the lead. What went through your mind at that moment in time? Um, just not to panic, really. I mean, with the players that are on the pitch and in the squad, of you know, we, I believe we've got enough to beat any team, you know, whatever the scoreline may be. So when we went one 0 down, I just thought as long as we all stick together, you know, we don't cave under and we work hard as a team like we always do, then the outcome would be would be great as it always is. You scored earlier in the season a rather spectacular goal yeah. against Flint Town United. Perhaps not as spectacular this afternoon, but nevertheless a very important one. Yeah, no, it was an important goal, especially, as you said, being 1-0 down. Um, I do think it was important to bounce back as quick as we could and um, to give us that platform again to go and start again and go and build from that. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, it just uh, I was in the right place at the right time for a change. And yeah, no, it was a good finish. I hit it well with my left foot. and. Uh, yeah, just made sure I tried to get it on target and yeah, it's great, get back to 1-1 one, one and then we can progress from there. And the defenders are doing well at the moment as far as scoring goals is concerned because we had Ben Clark and Ryan Astles also finding the net at Newtown in the week. Yeah, I mean, as I said, with the, with the squad and the team that we've got, I believe anyone can score a goal in this team and um, we've got that much quality and I believe that if anyone else is in that situation, I believe they would have scored as well. So I think that's really important to have in a squad. And as far as the team is concerned, you're turning into a little bit of a Mr. Versatility because you're yeah. dropping into a centre-half position or a full-back position and looking as comfortable wherever you turn out for the side. Yeah, well, I always try and give my best no matter where, where I play and what I do. So, no, if, um, if I'm needed to play in any position, I'll always do my best. And, uh, yeah, I just uh, do, the, do my best for the team and then just play from there, really. Yeah, just enjoy being in the squad, being in the team. And I've just got to keep progressing from there, really. And ultimately, it was an own goal that secured the three points for TNS. But I guess, however they go in, whoever they, whoever scores them, it's all about the victory. Yeah, well, I didn't really see it, to be fair. I think there was a guy in front of me, so I, I couldn't really see. I think Ryan went to go and play it in behind or something, it deflected and went in. But nevertheless, I mean, we still had to get in the position where the ball was going in the box. So, no, I think it's good. And again, I, I believe that, you know, with the attacking quality that we've got and stuff, it was going to come anyway, really. I think we had a lot of chances throughout the game. I think it was important that we got the goal when we did. Um, and yeah, I, I believe we felt comfortable, really, from and there on. Pennebont are a well-organised side, yeah. and there were a few heart-in-the-mouth moments towards the end. Yeah, there was, but, you know, like I said, um, I believe that defensively we're, we're sound as well, and um, with the team that we've got and the players that play, whoever it may be, that you know, we'd be comfy enough to, to play against any team. So, no, I I full faith in the team. And we go into the Christmas period top of the table and our next opponent is Kevin Druids here on Boxing Day. Yeah, well, it's always nice to go into the break. Um, obviously, top of the table. Um, I don't think in previous years we've actually been in this position. So that's good for us. Um, but now it's all about just kicking on and taking every game um, as good as it comes and just do everything we can to just keep staying at the top. Ryan, congratulations on Thanks the victory and, of course, your goal, Nadalik Lawen. Thank you.